Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today we're going to be showcasing yet another plant. Of course, the first plant we showcased was the Straw Burst, but that came in a bundle with the Explodo Nuts. So that's exactly what I'm going to be checking out today. Starting over in the Almanac, we'll take a look at it. It should be way over this way. It is, of course, in the Walnut class of plants, and from what I've seen, is a pretty cool one. We've used it ever so slightly in the different travel log quests, but now we're going to be trying out for real. We have the Explodo Nut, which is already level four. Explodo Nuts provide protection, and when their shells are eaten, they explode to blow up zombies. My only regret, says Exploda Nut, is that I have but one chewy center full of nitroglycerin to give in defense of this lawn. So I guess he wishes he could give more. Um, actually, he's he's in the bombardment family? Huh, wait, that doesn't, oh no, okay. I thought it was saying he was. I guess if he is, he'll have a check mark next to him or something? I really don't know what that's about. Okay, never mind. Um, but as you can see, sun cost is 50, the recharge is nine, toughness is 3,000, that's at max. Uh, armor food, or plant food power is armor, damage is 2,000, area is three by three, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. So yeah, very, very interesting for sure with the Explodent Nut. We're gonna go ahead and bring it onto some levels and just sort of see how it goes. A lot of you said you enjoyed how I showcased a straw burst by going to different levels throughout the uh, different uh, worlds, and that's what I definitely wanna focus on today. Also earn up a number of different pinatas. I pressed the wrong button. I noticed in the travel log, that there is currently a quest to complete going against zombies in a certain zone. Let's find out which zone that was, because uh, I already forget. But I think it was, yeah, Jurassic Marsh. So we could try maybe with some Jurassic Marsh for today. Uh, their outfits are completely ahistorical. Or, uh, yeah, I guess like hysterical is the idea there. I don't know. Um, the few basic Jurassic Marsh zombies. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully we get some stuff done. So I don't even know what level it started me on. I just pressed play. Uh, maybe like the first level, I guess we'll find out. But we got a primal potato mine here. Um, I don't know how much I'll be using that. Of course, I do need to be doing a bit of trial and error with Explode Nut to figure out what exactly is going on. But beyond that, we will also do some, you know, just normal primal stuff to get us going. And maybe something that would just help me save some money would be great. So if we could do maybe Iceberg Lettuce, that'd be great. Yeah, that should be pretty good. I'm trying to think of whatever else we need for the dinos. It's been a while since I've last been here. Uh, I could do like a garlic just in case. Like I just need a zombie to leave a lane. Probably not gonna use it. But let's just try with this. Get it going with uh, the primal sunflower and just sort of save up for the, the wanna. And we'll just try to see if we can't set up a situation where they're just running straight into it. I didn't even, I don't know why I chose the primal walnut. That was just sort of out of habit. But yeah, this will be interesting. I do wanna ask you guys, do you have I'm just gonna freeze him. Do you guys have uh, the, the Exploded on? If so, what are your thoughts on him? I would love to hear all about it. Definitely probably gonna want some feedback on how to use this guy because you never know. Um, so I'm thinking I wanna put them a little bit farther out, but not too far that, you know, like if a dino was to whack them, they're gonna run by. So we're gonna do something like that. And eventually I could also set up like uh, Primal Walnuts and stuff. So. I also want these dinos not to be jerks, so I'm gonna try something like that. The Explodonauts seem to restore pretty quickly so far, which is nice. I mean, compared to your like average walnut and stuff at the least. So, that's pretty good. So they're gonna get started with that already. I'm just gonna set up a little army of these guys. Like, I really wanna see how far we can get just using sunflowers and Explodonauts, actually. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. So that's what I'm gonna try. Um, let's freeze you, and then do the same dealio. And I'm just gonna make like a whole army of them. Like as many as I can. I'll make some dinos happier just because I feel like that would help. But these explode nuts will eventually just kaboom and it should be similar to, yeah, like a cherry bomb. That's super awesome. I feel like this guy down here though, since he's just one zombie, I feel like I should just set him up like that. Let's see, let's see. Well, the, the, the explode nut gets so excited. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna explode. It's gonna be awesome. That's great. Okay, oh boy. Um, I do not like that. Uh, <laughs> so what happens if I do a plant food on, say, this guy? He actually gets armored, which, is that really what I want, though? You know, like, I feel like that's actually the opposite of what I want. So I feel like he should be restoring a little bit faster here if we really want him to, you know, get to work. So maybe it's not the best situation. Um, so definitely I don't think that you can do, like, solely an explode nut tactic, but there we go. That got rid of a good chunk of them. I'm gonna get this over here. You know, that's a very happy, uh, uh, pterodactyl over that way, that's nice. I mean, we got tons of sun, now the only problem is I don't have enough Explodonuts restoring, but I, I think this will be fine. 
So yeah, I guess the plant food is just extra armor. Nothing too crazy there. We're going against our second flag here, and so far we've been doing it with uh, some flowers, exploding nuts, and one or two potato mines, and of course a perfume shroom here and there. Um, so honestly, I don't know, like I think it'd be smarter to do that with my plant food and double them up, because I really don't need it for too much more. Um, okay, so like this exploding on the very, very bottom left should explode both that uh, pterodactyl zombie, or like the you know dinosaur bone zombie, whatever he's supposed to be, and also the zombie above that with the stone bucket. <laughs> he's basically a buckethead. Um, and let's see, let's find out together which one's gonna explode here. Actually, I'm not really sure. Boom, but it works, it works really well. Like maybe it wouldn't hurt to make things a little farther up here. We got two pterodactyls here, start kicking them away. But yeah, this works pretty well so far. I wouldn't suggest using it this way every time, because there definitely, you know, could be situations where this just like doesn't work as well. But I mean, so far so good, you know? So I like this for sure. And we're destroying lots of, uh... wait, why are you moving this way now? You turned around. Why did you turn around? That was weird. Um, I don't like that very much. Okay, but we're on our last wave here, even if we, you know, don't survive too much more than this, it's fine. Uh. Let's get this here. That guy exploded. A bunch of them actually got exploded there. That was crazy. Um, and then we'll just put one here just to sort of speed things up a little bit because as you can see, this is the last set of them, I think. Um, and then gave it to the pterodactyl, drops him off there. It's just gonna explode him. <laughs> so that's pretty cool right there. And uh, we just got this last guy and same dealio, I guess. Uh, Oh no, he died because he was the last one. Alrighty, well there we go. Our first round with the Exploded Nut. I like him a lot. Of course, it's sort of a different kind of defense because, you know, he's the same cost as a Walnut, at least at the current level I have him, but he explodes, you know? So that's pretty good. I mean, it seems like his reload speed's a little bit better than a normal Walnut, but maybe I'm not entirely sure. There's one Pinata though, just for the uh, Pinata Tracker. We get three experience for the Primal Potato, or not, Primal Walnut and three experience for the Perfume Shroom. Hey, it's something, and a bonus five experience for the Exploded Nut, what do you know? Okay, very, very cool. So there is that, and we are just gonna keep moving. So that was actually already 23 out of 50 zombies destroyed, so I feel like for right now, I do wanna continue doing Jurassic Marsh levels. I don't know if it'll bring me to the same level again, because that'd be a little uninteresting if it did, so I might try some just different level and to sort of see how it goes. But with that being said, I think that after we're done with this and we showcase all of Exploded Nut here in Jurassic Marsh, I might wanna move on either to a new world or some people were saying they want me to showcase the plants in battles. I don't know if I'll say that for its own episode. I don't really know because I know that battles also has like showcases of its own plants. So maybe I'll also just sort of do a couple rounds of battles with it. Uh, we'll wait for that to, to, to happen though. For right now though, we're gonna be doing something similar to what we already did get that all set up and everything. But yeah, like I said before, definitely let me know your thoughts on the uh, Exploded Nut. So far, very fun, I really enjoy it, so can't wait to check out more and more with it. A lot of people also, I know, have been requesting that I check out a Gemium plant, a plant I can buy with gems. That's coming up soon. There's just so many things happening in the game, of course, as always, and uh, only so much time to cover it all. So I think that, I never used the garlic, but what I could end up doing, if I need to, if I just wanna really bunch the zombies up, Where's the stun yin at? Oh, right here. Just sort of have that and hope for the best. I actually have room for one more thing because I'm not doing the primal one at this time because I didn't need to. I could also do like charred guard. That wouldn't be too bad. All right, well, I should be fine with all that. We'll give it a shot, we'll see what happens. But so, so many of you have been requesting so many different plants. I do wanna let you know that I'm here in the loud and clear. I'm trying to find a balance between doing the plants I'm excited to see, doing the plants that are actually, you know, time relevant, and also doing the plants you guys are requesting. So, hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. Lots of people have been asking over and over again if the series is ending soon. I don't know why, because I've said so many times it's not. But, uh, yeah, we got, like, so many episodes. Like, the story mode was sort of like the appetizer, you know? I'm gonna freeze you, because I probably should have put the Exploded Nut in front of you first anyways. Um, and then I'll stun in this guy, just so that, like, you know, they don't have to eat through the majority of both Walnuts, or Exploded Nuts, for that to be a problem. But I am putting them a little bit farther up this time. I'm gonna work back, I think, eventually. But if I could make you happy, because you're gonna be sending the zombies everywhere. But yeah, this definitely, if it keeps going this way, should be enough to get us everything we need in terms of, uh, and you can tell he gets more red as he gets eaten, that's cool. Um, oh gosh, here comes a pterodactyl. That's gonna make things problematic. I wish I could've saved the perfume shroom for him. You know, I might just do this for now, just because the only downside, of course, oh, come on, is that the Exploder Nut where are you gonna drop him? There, right? I'm gonna just launch him. Launch him. There we go, thank you very much. Um, the only problem is Exploding Nut takes a while to restore, 
Uh, that can just be a pain for obvious reasons. Lots of zombies coming out right now. Uh, let's get the pterodactyl. I mean, he's a bigger rush than anybody else here. He's gonna make us rush because he's just putting the zombies in such a bad position. So put an exploded nut here, put this back on there. I would say that like overall rating as a plant, very good. Uh, plant food rating, I'd say it's a meh because I don't know why I'd want his health to be increased. I, I mean, I guess maybe if I just wanted to bide my time. Hey now, don't do that. Um, if I wanted to bide my time and make sure as many zombies got here as possible before it explodes, then yeah, it sort of makes sense. Okay, let's get this guy. Um, but at the same time, uh, the same thing happens if I were to use Iceberg or Stunion, you know? So like, it doesn't really make too much sense to do it that way, because like, those guys get frozen, these zombies will move over. There's better uses for my plant food. I think it would be smarter if you're going to use a plant food on, oh boy. Um, on the Explodonut, it would be to restore the Explodonut. I might just do this really fast because, like I said, once again, I'm waiting for the Explodonut to restore, but it's doing pretty well so far. Like, I gotta say, I'm happy with it. Um, I want this Pterodactyl, to, not Pterodactyl, this Velociraptor to help us out. I don't know why I'm calling it a Pterodactyl, that's the other thing. Um, okay, but so far, so good. And like, even then, like, the restore rate for Explodonut isn't bad, that's for sure. I could get used to it. I definitely want to see how it's like using the Explode Nut in battle, so that's probably what we'll do later in today's episode. Hopefully this will be enough zombies defeated though. Okay, hold on. Same place too. <laughs> okay, when he gets back, I'm gonna make him happy. There we go. Uh, but yeah, once we're done with all this, I definitely want to check that out. I think this should be enough to finish our travel log though, so maybe, maybe we can go somewhere else after this. That'd be fun. I'm gonna freeze you. I'm gonna stun this guy for sure. Oh, I was hoping it would also stun that other guy. What did I do? Oh, I almost used the plant food there. Um, I'm gonna use that in a moment, but not now. I'm gonna use that. Well, you, as you can see, we have full two full rows of it, so I don't even know if I need to use the plant food on it. I get to save it for now. I mean, we have over 2,000 suns. So we got plenty of that. Okay, well, yeah, we'll just let everybody do their thing, let everybody catch up a little bit. There we go. So, put an explode nut here. Restore this explode nut there, and then yeah, don't ruin my fun over there, buddy. I don't like it. Get the stunning to do its thing, I think. And honestly, that could be it right there. I could, if I wanted just to speed this up, use the primal potato mine, since we've seen what the Exploder Nut does at this point, you know, and that really didn't do too much for me, but hey, that's fine. It'd be cool if I dug them up if they exploded. Like, that'd be an interesting little trick. Like, maybe that's something that could unlock once we leveled up more. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but that'd be an interesting idea. Just like, putting it down and then digging it would explode it. It would make for a different strategy at the least. Anyways, these guys are gonna eat through these exploded nuts, and because of that, they're gonna explode. Any moment. I mean, it's such a cheap one, too. It's the same price as a normal walnut. It's just like, it's sorta of just, if you're gonna choose the walnut, choose this one instead. I mean, it has slightly less health, but you know? Anyways, there we go. We collected more seed packets because we get another pinata. Oh, I need to destroy two more normal zombies here in Jurassic March. That's sort of silly. But um, as you can see, we just get some pretty normal stuff here. This is just for the pinata tracker. We get four experience for the primal walnut, three experience for the perfume shroom, and that looks to be about it. Alrighty then. Reminder, level up your walnut from level one. I think I've already done that. I don't know why it's telling me to do it again. Um, but yeah, we will just go ahead and maybe do an easier level from the Jurassic Marsh. Some people are telling me getting the extra uh, pinata trackers aren't worth it. I'm still sort of like thinking about if it's worth it for me personally or not because I do want to be able to showcase as many levels and be able to get as much experience as possible just because I have a limited time to play each game that I play. So getting the most out of it in the smallest amount of time is usually in my best interest. So I still might get the pinata trackers at some point, maybe the next time I go and buy a plant, which will probably be soon. Lots of people are saying, you know, uh, a lot of people, I did want to tackle this as well. A lot of people were worried that I might start just using overpowered plants and only using those and it just gets uninteresting at that point. I'm gonna try really hard not to do that. Just because I know that a lot of people wanna see me use some basic plants. That's what I did throughout the entire main adventure. The first 50 episodes, I didn't buy a single plant. I only used what the game gave me by playing for free. So that's what I wanted to uh, focus on. Um, at that point, and I'm still going to be focusing on trying to use a good variety of plants, both free and paid, just so I can showcase what everything's, you know, done. Uh, but with that being said, you know, these showcase videos are obviously for showcasing. So, if that makes sense, I hope it does. 
Um, I don't know what else I want to do here. I might just like throw in random plants. Like, what if I do this? Right, it's just gonna send me with what I had before, which is fine. Hopefully this level will be super quick and easy just because that's what I'm looking for. I just want to destroy those three zombies. So I might even not even use too much Exploding Nut this time. I just want to be able to get through. But this time maybe I'll set it up so like Exploding Nut's right, right, right out in front. Like that'd actually be fun if I do this. Just something a little bit different. Yeah, because I don't think there's any dinos in this first Jurassic Marsh level, as far as I remember. Like that guy's of course gonna explode eventually. You can actually sort of hear him charge up a little bit. So I'm gonna freeze you and give you an explode nut. I'm just gonna use a ton of sun, like as much as I can. Uh, can I do this? Will this stun you still? It will, thank you Stunion for being amazing. Do this, okay. Okay, and I'm just gonna try to make as much of a little army as I possibly can. If I need to, I could also set up like charred guards and stuff just to throw them back over there. Whoa, okay. Uh, so let's stun this guy. Okie doke. Get another charred guard about there if I need to. I'm not really placing them down as fast as I need to at the moment. Okay, but that's where this could actually be helpful. Let's do this. Stun these guys. Uh, Explode nut is here. Put it there. Um. Uh, I'm, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. We'll just get that set up over that way. And like, it's working. <laughs> Not exactly everything I had in mind, but that's fine. And I could push them back too with the pea shooter. I gotta keep that in mind, the primal pea. I just haven't had enough time to set everything I wanted up. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna get knocked back. I'm gonna do a bit of that. I'm gonna stun these guys because they're still fighting to get out here. I don't really need any more sunflowers, do I? <laughs> Uh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Come on, explode or not. Nice, that one got out there, so that's good. Okay. I mean, we could more use more sun, I guess. Another explode nut's about to go off. No, no, no. Get this there. Get that here to stun you. If I can, just one, once again, I'm just trying to preserve everything. And this strategy works just fine. It holds them back. And that's sort of just the idea, is to keep them on that first lane, and we're doing a pretty good job with that, too. Okay, so there is that, nice. Okay, so I got another one of these, I'm gonna put one of these guys down, and honestly, that's really the most of what we need. Well, let's see, whenever something explodes, we could just, I mean, I just wanna sort of watch the fireworks at this point, this is enough to get rid of everybody. And then one last one down this way, come on! Whenever he explodes that wall, it might take us a little while at this rate. I don't know, maybe we should just get the pea shooters to take him down. There we go, that'll be enough. But yeah, that's a lot of fun. Exploding Nut definitely has some different strategies you can use with him. And we get our third pinata of the day. It should give me some more Jurassic Marsh stuff. Sorry I spent like all of this episode so far in Jurassic Marsh, but I think it's gonna be worth it. We get one pinata here, and then we're gonna get another pinata on top of that. So four more experience with the Perfume Shroom, uh, four more experience for the Primal Pea Shooter, which is good. And that's about it for there, but now we're gonna get another pinata on top of that out of the travel log. So let's check that one out. So we're sort of multitasking at the moment, which is fun. Um, so let's take a look. Quest complete. I'm gonna go over this way. Uh, completed 50 zombies from Jurassic Marsh, the basic zombies. And where do we get inside of it? 10 experience for the primal potato mine, getting very close to the next level, and that's it. All right, well, it's still worth doing. With that being said, let's do a little bit of battles. I got a lot of battles uh, feedback. I definitely need to like read through it multiple times just to sort of register everything because so many of you guys leave your feedback. But look at this tournament finish. You are promoted to one league. That's super cool tournament result. I actually, what I might do, as you see, we get rewards here. We get 16 mints, 48 gems, and 1,500 coins. That's a crazy amount of stuff. Really cool. I don't know if I'll actually do it through normal battles then. What I might wanna do is in the travel log, there's like a, th a couple of extra free tries you can do. I might do those. See, if we go to the travel log and I go to events, um, there should be down here, battles practice room. I think I'm gonna use this practice room to try out the explode nut. And then I'm gonna have a whole episode trying to get through Woodley coming up soon. But battles practice room, experiment risk free with this week's battles level. But like, will this, this usually makes me use one specific type of plant, and I'll be checking that plant out in that battles episode, I think, something like that. I'm still trying to figure out the you know the way we want to structure this. It'll just take time, but in the meantime, whoa, okay. Got lots of fire, that's from, yeah, the, the thing. Oh, so we have enlightenment, boost sun plant, okay. Okay, I have no idea how to use enlightenment, but we'll sort of figure out as we go along. 
So I figured this might be something we can do for fun, is just try whatever plant we're showcasing on battles and to sort of see how it fares. You guys can let me know your thoughts on this idea. If you don't think it's that good, let me know. Um, but in the meantime, we're just gonna try it and see what happens. So I think we'll do the primal, actually, maybe I should just do twin. A lot of people are saying that maybe not even do sunflowers, but obviously if the enlightenment is here boosts some plants, I'm not really sure. Uh, because it can be helpful just to put more plants down, right? Um, but we'll have the explore that, which lots of people were also saying, don't worry about walnuts in battles mode because apparently the, the lawn mowers last forever. They'll just be replenished. I'm not really sure how that works. I haven't seen that. So we'll just try this out. But uh, it would be fun maybe to combo that up with like the straw burst. And like that could be our strategy right there, you know? Um, like maybe we could do some other things too that are a bit cheaper just to sort of make our way forward with it. Like even just like a lightning read. And then just like, I don't know. My strategy is probably not that great here. I'll just have to like experiment and learn and figure things out. But for right now, I'll just choose some, okay, cheaper stuff like that. Don't know if that'll do anything, especially since, oh yeah. I forgot, how does, how does this work again? I think this will torch the entire lane, right? I feel like I should just try it, right? Like I should just put some stuff out. But I mean, remember, I only have a certain amount of free tries, so maybe I shouldn't. Um, but what I wanted to do, and I can't put plants on there, I wanted to try doing the explode enough, but obviously this level doesn't work perfectly with it. Huh. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the idea is there. We'll try something like that. I'll try, I mean, I can only do one straw burst at this rate. I probably don't need five of these. Maybe that would be fine. And then maybe we'll just do a bunch of lightning reads then. <laughs> like this might be an awful idea. That's where I'm sort of just trying to figure things out as I go along. Um, we'll just try a bunch of exploding nuts out. Maybe I'll even double some up here or there. And I don't know how this fire stuff works. We're going against Zomboss, okay. Bonus 10,000 points if we can beat him, I guess. So what's gonna happen here if I do this? I don't know. Uh, whoa, so it really does. Okay, interesting. Um, that is very odd. Okay, I like the idea of the enlightenment now. <laughs> so I get it, that's what the enlightenment bonus thing I was reading about before is about. I also should have done Blober, um, but I'm a dingus, you guys know this. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll just do this. And like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing here. So I'm just like, I'm just trying different stuff. It looks like for this specific setup, uh, the Explore Nuts don't really work too well because most of them just fly right over it. But anyways, we have enough to do a giant strawberry. Let's do a giant strawberry. There we go. And just set up more Explore Nuts for at least the guys that can't get past it. Okay, and we'll do another one of these. I do have enough sun for another one, so I might as well. So I think that the Straw Burst Explode Nut combo is fun at the least, you know? I definitely should have done Blover. I don't know why. One of these days, I won't infinitely forget about Blover. You know? It'll happen, I promise. Anyways, let's let's block this guy off with another Explode Nut. I don't think the Explode Nut idea is bad, especially when they actually explode. It's just all the other guys that are sort of getting through here, that's a problem. Um, but my score is like, not that great. <laughs> um, not that great at all. Uh, I probably shouldn't have put that there. Uh, let's freeze you. I could actually just activate this, but it doesn't, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that then. I don't know. Uh, don't leave that alone. And you ate my straw burst, you monster. Okay, let's launch one over that way. I am definitely a mess right now. More Explode Nuts, please. There we go. Uh, let's see, I'll do another one of these guys. Ah, oh, but you see like that guy, sometimes they do land on the flames and that messes up pretty bad. Okay, is, is Zombus taken down here? At least he's knocked over for a moment. Uh, I'll do that, I'll do this, and these guys just get right past us. I think I'll go ahead and do another one of these. If we had the Blover, I feel like this would turn out functionally a lot better I feel like the Explode Nuts restore faster at the least. Let's get this guy, come on. Boom, that was actually a really good move. Lots of stuff to focus on here. I mean, my score is 405, which is like my highest score ever, but this is definitely way longer than my average battles mode. Like this is definitely going on for way, way longer. Have the strawberry go crazy. Whoa, that sun was blue over there. I guess there must be the crystal guy somewhere. Yeah, there was a crystal skull guy over there. Um, while all of our plants are gone. <laughs> All of them are just gonna, goodbye. Uh, let's get that there. So that should, at least, that's a good defense against this guy, is it will explode him. Okay. Ah, oh, they did the flame. That sinks. It happens though. Had to expect it. Get the explode nut maybe over this way. We did get rid of the gargantua, or maybe the flame did. I'm not really sure. Let's do another giant strawberry. I'm gonna put that there. 
Oh man, and we still have like five seconds left. Keep it going. Do another one, come on. Boom, because it just destroys the zombies around him. Oh, I should have activated the straw burst. So our score was 446,600. I feel like it could have been way higher if I knew what I was doing, but maybe I could do a bit of an adjustment now. I don't feel like exploding that works for this battles map. <laughs> So maybe I shouldn't keep doing that, but I figure we'll do like maybe one more thing with Exploding on. Um, I'm gonna probably just go through different adventure levels, like see which one might be best, and we'll show that one off, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I wanted to try something around like the Dark Ages area, because I feel like this is one where there aren't too many zombies that can get over or around the Exploded Nuts. Like the only real problem I could have here is if any of those sheep zombies turn the Exploded Nuts into sheep, but hopefully through just like explosions in other areas, like maybe we'll be fine, and this isn't the best level for it, because that's pre-chosen plants. All right, hold on. So this could be interesting, saving the endangered plants does give us some uh, things to figure out. And once again here, it has a Gargantuar, which I feel like the Exploded Nut is definitely a great defense against the Gargantuar. I will do some you know, Dark Ages plants to work with it as well. So maybe I could start with some stuff like this and then work into the Exploded Nut right over this way. And then beyond that, ooh, I wonder how the Intensive Carrot works with the Exploded Nut. This might not work at all. But I, because it's technically Aiden, but it's also technically Explode, like this wouldn't work with a Cherry Bomb, would it? So I don't know if this will work or not. But that's what I'm gonna try to figure out. And then once again, we'll do our typical stun plants, stuff like that, stuff like the Iceberg Lettuce. And then maybe if I have one last thing, I could do the Charred, actually, no, hold on. I know what I was gonna do. I need to do the uh, Gravestone Buster. Don't be that person right now that always forgets one plant or another, because I always do. Uh, I'm always at Zebra. <laughs> Anyways, we'll start with Sunshroom. Eventually we'll be able to gray bust that one. That should be good, that'll get us moving. Uh, this is, of course, day, Dark Ages Day 19. And we'll see how this goes. In the meantime, we could also just set up Puff Shrooms in front of this stuff, and hopefully it'll be enough to be a decent defense. Um, I could do that for now, but eventually I'm gonna set up Exploded Nuts, because there's no way they can get through the Exploded Nuts without getting exploded, and that's what I want. I'm gonna put one right there, uh, and I could start freezing these guys, because apparently that wasn't enough. Um, okay, that should be fine if I set this up there, then eventually they'll run right into it, so that'll be good. That's sort of what I'm hoping for here, is stuff like that, and then maybe we could set things up behind it. Okay, so this actually isn't too bad, but man, the zombie's coming quick. Ooh, but you just become normal zombies, which is much better. Uh, so of course some of the Exploded Nuts have quite been eaten yet. Man, these levels move super quick, I forgot about that. They move super wicked quick. Uh, get rid of this, get rid of that. Explode, oh nut there. Get another guy here. Freeze this dude for a little bit. Just give him some time. Give him some time to figure things out. There we go, we have enough for him. Okay, so this isn't too bad. I'm gonna keep setting up puff shrooms. Maybe stun you in here, they're definitely here. Don't you dare turn anything to a sheep at the worst possible time. Um, Cause that's gonna happen and I don't like it. So if I could actually just focus on getting rid of those guys before anything else, it might be my best bet. Okay, so he's gonna start turning people into knightly kings. Not, no, he's just gonna turn them into knights. He's not gonna turn them into kings. A king wouldn't turn another person to a king and mean he'd be out of the job. Okay, exploding that needs to happen here as soon as possible. There we go. I probably just want to use another plant food on this so I can just get another one set up as soon as possible as well. Okay, there we go. Keep building things out as much as we can. Might as well get some puff shrooms here or there. So what I want to see, I haven't had this opportunity yet, but I want to see what happens if we get an exploded nut exploded and I used a Caratillery. Or no, that's not what it's called. Uh, intensive Carrot. I don't know why I want to call it that, but anyways. Uh, come on, explode. That one on the top should, or one of these guys should soon, please. Okay, here we go. Lots of stuff going on now, at the least. So like, that one's about to go kablooey. There it goes. It, it works! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my gosh, that's my new strategy forever. And like, even if these guys were to get hit by projectiles, they'd just be exploding the Exploder Nut sooner, wouldn't they? Like, that's not that big of a deal. But that's a really good strategy to keep in mind. That's gonna get me more Exploder Nuts sooner. So I think they're just, yeah, they're beating up the Exploder Nuts. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. So obviously this isn't so bad. 
I could really get used to this. Um, okay, let's get an explosion. Once again, I could have used a care artillery though. I gotta keep that in mind. It's just very easy to forget. Pay attention to when there's explosions. So I can definitely put one there because there's not been one over there. Um, but I can restore this one. Like how cool is that? It's so awesome. So awesome, right at the end we found a new strategy with the intensive carrot. Now the only problem here though is I do have to be careful of these guys. And maybe I should have waited before just jumping into doing triple plant food, but um, that's what I did. I think it would be also interesting if we did something like this. And also we did the, um, the tile turnip. Like maybe that'd be interesting. Okay, so this is where things can get a bit risky, especially with this guy over here. Okay, they toasted themselves out. So if we can just stun you for a moment. I missed you. No, I didn't. And then you're done for. Okay, that one, perfect. Exploding nuts are super powerful, especially when comboed up with the Caratillery, you can just restore them even faster. It's just like, oh, that's cool. Even if it's more expensive, the idea is to get as many Exploding nuts out as possible. So it's fine. That was a ton of fun. As you can see, we got a bag of coins for that, and we protected the uh, magnet shrooms. What a fun plant. Definitely wanna hear your thoughts on this one. Maybe other strategies you might have in mind for the Explode Nut that I could use in the future. That's awesome to hear about, of course. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Another plant showcase, plenty more coming soon. So two plants down so far, many, many to go. Strawburst and Explode Nut were in that uh, Summer Nights uh, bundle. That was super cool. We were able to get the, up to level four, which definitely made a big difference as well. Super fun plant. Can't wait to use it in different strategies in the future. But for right now, like I said before, let me know your thoughts on it, and that'll wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Before you go, be sure to comment Explodo Zebra so I know you've watched at the end that you're a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.